Hi, and welcome to another of my World of Tanks videos. And this one is going to be all about uh, how not to be a freaking scumbag in artillery. And um, about the, the stupidity of all these guys who complain and get killed in arty and flame their team and drown and drive into walls and whatever. And I'll give you some examples uh, about what you could do uh, instead. And I won't too much focus on camping bush and shotgun incoming lights, because that's pretty obvious, even though it can be really entertaining. And um, I'll show you three battles that I played in one evening, I don't know, probably a week ago, more or less, and that were really, really entertaining. And that's three battles already on one day, so you can do this in a lot of cases. Um, and we'll start with the first one here. And if you look at the map, well, the tactical situation is pretty screwed. We have a lot of guys on the beach. Uh, I don't know why you would go to the beach on that map. It's such a waste of... Uh, it's it's such a useless position, you can't do anything from there. Uh, uh, and unfortunately, my flank is a bit deserted. I try to help them, but then I'm also not an exceptional RT player. Um, I did something, some damage, some assisted, but it's really not looking cool. And I will already switch to RT mode, because that seems to be a bit buggy. Our RT view uh, in the replay. So, yeah, up front there's two enemies down, uh, two friendly tanks down already. Um, a lot of enemy mediums coming in, and I have the feeling it's time to get he get the hell out of here. And uh, that's already it. I mean, look at the map. Know the speed of your artillery. When your position is lost, get the fuck out. Oh team managed to get a kill. It's only 1-4. Um, but yeah, so first thing is, I'm running away while I can. I'm hoping that that STRV can help them a bit longer and that I reach a position to support him again, but he seems to be pretty screwed. Yep. Ooh, that hurt. Um, yeah, okay, when you get caught out close quarter by an autoloader in an STRV, you're pretty screwed. So, I'll increase the replay speed again, because now it's just like, I found a new position. This one is pretty safe to fire from um, from the east. I uh, figured that out, uh, I don't know, a while ago. Uh, so I'm trying to make a kind of a last stand here. But then again, I like the situation is shit, the enemies are close, you have to be careful. Um, it's 5-10, so what should you do? Um, 6-11. 612. Um, yeah, so I get the funny feeling um, that I might want to relocate again. No, going up is a bad idea. Uh, you can already see chat gets a bit salty. Um, last target is down. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Die, you bitches. Uh, and yeah. Well, of course, I could suicide now, but where's the fun in that? And it looks like this, this Waffenträger has an interesting idea. Um, there, die faster. Um, yeah, that type player, I can totally understand him. He's grinding his type, and of course the tank's locked while the battle is running. Uh, so he doesn't really want to waste his time. But then, maybe we can do something to entertain him while he's waiting. So, um, I decided that this Waffle had a pretty good idea to uh, just get the hell out of the position where the enemies uh, expect us. And Let's see what we can find on the beach. And oh, oh, it's an arty. Waffle gets it. Um, hmm, it could be another arty. Well, that could be a victim. And oh, spotting notification. Where is he? There he is. And he missed. So it's shotgun time. <laughs> um, yeah, again, the waffle finished them off, but the next problem arises. Um, hmm. Trying to find a shot. I mean situation still looks pretty bad, but never step down, always try to fight. As you see, I already found some fans. <laughs> Had a nice chat with both of them afterwards. Um, Waffle punishes the STRV for being greedy, and I want to flank him, but then, ow, oh, looks like he's paying attention. Ah, but the Waffle uh, killed him. <laughs> yeah, don't look at the RT when another TD is aiming at you. Unfortunately, now the Waffle gets taken out. Um, and I find myself in a close quarter fight with a VK. 
but I managed to get one shotgun and now I'm trying to circle him but then a the problem here is that guy has a turret and well the rain is pretty fast looks like uh, my turning circle is is pretty big and yeah yeah um, uh oh ouch okay but at least everybody had some fun and the guys who were, wait who were waiting for the end of the battle uh, <laughs> got entertained and I got again 500 spotting on the STRV 180 stun on the Tiger P uh, hit into the VK damage into the v uh, into the Tiger P so great now some of you might say um, but that was an open map there was plenty of space to run um, yeah but then it's not like you couldn't run on town maps when the enemy is getting close and that situation felt like I was very close to getting killed and yeah somebody put a put a train wagon there and it's it has a very nice camouflage so <laughs> I totally didn't see it and drove into it um, yeah so also on town maps you can run and um, Ensk is a pretty good example for a tough map because at least I mean while you're still while your team is still fighting in the east you can do something but um, oh that scout run from the bulldog was useless um, ah, ha, ha, I killed the RT <laughs> so yeah you can run away even if the east is lost you can still shoot uh, over the map uh, but then oh, that looks like a lot of mobile tanks in closing so time to run again and now I basically just have the town left but hey dying to medium tanks or trying to fight in the town I'll go for trying to fight in the town um, and ooh, ooh, what's that is that an isolated VK 45B hmm I wonder if he is distracted or fired hello boom drive by shotgun ah he's not turning his gun for me I kind of hoped at this point that the but he would all turn around for me and the T2065 would kill him, but then if he's not turning around for me, maybe I can reload <laughs> and shoot him in the back. But unfortunately, he slips around the corner, um, but that doesn't mean I can't follow him. Oh, oh, ow, 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 I really need to get behind this guy in that offside of line and surprise, boom! <laughs> Ah, uh, I love it. And then again, try to get into new cover, try to survive till you're loaded, and... Ooh, are those guys distracted by the T2065? No, that might be an opportunity. And looks like I am almost loaded. Boom! Another hit, but unfortunately, uh, I might have made him angry there. But still... He's taken out, so that was definite impact. <laughs> yeah. And um, the first two battles... Um, oh, you saw that? Blind hit, kind of. Um, so the first two battles were kind of just the the uh, preparation for this battle that you're going to see. And this was, was really, really interesting and tense. And <laughs> after that one, I immediately decided to make a video. And... Like, can you explain me what this WZ is, is trying to do there? Is he... Is he brawling with heavies on a corner in a light tank? I... I just don't know. Um, yeah. So, yeah, let's let's watch a bit. It's not going to be particularly interesting. Um, by the way, RT mode and replay uh, capturing doesn't seem to work too well. Um, but what can you do? So, um... Yeah, again, I I'm not a particularly expert RT player. I'm seriously not convinced if my position was that smart. Uh, but also, if the heavies would actually fight on that corner, it should have been alright. And... Ooh, another nice hit on the Tiger. Woo! Uh, also, is that WZ just... Never mind. Um, yeah. And... I'm just wondering, well we have two artists in the position where I was and it doesn't look like the heavies are going to push on. Oh, the WZ got killed by a medium. 
the heavy corner. But never mind. Um, yeah, so I was trying to find a new angle and then suddenly all our heavies are dead. Um, yeah, so you'll see a pattern here, by the way. Uh, RT battles are not interesting if they go well. <laughs> but they have the potential to become interesting if they don't go well. Um, oh, let's see if I can ninja kill on the Yak Hunter. Ah, uh, nope, the other R2 was faster. Um, yeah, but then, yeah. Again, we lost the flank that I was supporting. Um, and now there comes a very angry medium uh, down there. Um, one of our artists is already down. Oh, and there is a light also coming in. Um, so, I already moved down to the other end of the map where I'm somewhat safe. And uh, try to keep the GW Hunter alive. Um, Gefechtswagen. Uh, let's not talk about that. Um, yeah, so, but um, I'm again, I have the feeling if I sit where it was, I'll just get spotted. So I'll try to find a new position. And what T28 Proc looks like he's in deep shit. Uh, one against two, two mobile tanks. So I wonder if I can do something to save him. And it looks like taking out that medium who's flanking him uh, might be an easy kill and remove a gun from a two versus one fight so nice great success uh, did that LTG just ram a T28 prot interesting decision um, yeah but I'm trying to to keep this guy alive uh, because that's the the easiest one right now and I don't know unfortunately moved a bit forward LTG finds the chance to flank him support fire misses um, but on the bright side that guy would have been able to sneak away uh, if I had not been able to connect this shot uh, yeah now it's three versus three and we have a scout a TD and an artillery against the heavy a TD and artillery so that looks okay um, until this Lorraine I like him by the way he does the right thing shotgun um, manages to take out the light and that's not big problem because his view range would have been really helpful <laughs> but at least <laughs> I'm able to <laughs> oh, that was funny <laughs> to shut him down uh, on the ramp while he's running at a uh, high speed ah brilliant and it's now two versus two uh, two real tanks against uh, one tank one artillery and um, yeah I'm sorry communication with this Hellcat and um, Yep, trying to, to find a position uh, where I'm not that easily spotted, where I can kind of run away. And then I'm trying to figure out, uh, or like, like try to basically just, just aim in his path, see if he finds targets for me. Yeah, I'll force forward a bit again, um, because, spoiler, looks like there are no targets on this flank. And at some point I'm thinking like, wait a moment, if their tanks are not on their flank of the map, maybe they are on our flank of the... Oh shit! <laughs> and you see, I just got the funny feeling and then the Churchill appeared, so I was luckily um, um, warned. And yeah, I, I try not to go down the, these ramps. The map changes really made going downhill is very very risky and I really don't want to get caught there and luckily Churchill is not too fast so um, yeah I'm pulling off the the um, Hasenfuss maneuver and just trying to get the fuck out of there and it looks like I'm a little and look at the map the Hellcat nice guy he is rushing down trying to support me um, yeah so I figure out going up that ramp might take long um, so I'll try to prepare an ambush uh, in case he comes chasing after me. Unfortunately I have a camo net and no binox um, but at least I'm like kind of covered up but then I have the feeling oh, they're getting close so I'll try to both reverse uh, but point my gun in the right direction to uh, fast switch to Hellcat support and where the heck is that Churchill? And where the heck is the DSU? My, the Hellcat has spotted like about almost off the map now. So I'm aiming in again. Where is he? Where is that guy? And 
It's Churchill. It's not like he could go anywhere fast. So I'm really confused. And oh, oh, he spotted. Um, Helka tried to shoot him in the back. And ooh, ouch. That was the SU. Um, that makes the situation tough. But ooh, sweet. Well, that was a nice roll. You don't see that that often anymore with the with uh, RT remakes. And um, yeah, you see, I'm asking the Hellcat where where the SU was, and he pings. He can tell me where the SU was, so I have a rough idea. Cool guy. I had a chat with him afterwards as well. Decent fellow. Um, so yeah, he, he gives me the warning, and I'm wondering like, what the fuck am I going to do? Of course, obvious thing is, don't be where he expects you. Uh, so I'm I'm running away and trying to process what the heck my PSU be doing. Uh, I mean. His stats don't look impressive, but then he got four killed, so he's obviously not an idiot. And uh, you have to take him seriously. And then, ooh, there he is. And he saw me. And will he turn? Will he turn? Will he turn? Will he turn? Um, ooh, oh, it looks like I made it. And now, watch it in all its glory. <laughs> hey, mister, it's you. <laughs> Looks like this RT is more mobile than you. <laughs> uh, no, I'm behind you. Uh, are you stunned? Oh, that's that's very sad. Uh, oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I might have been able to aim these shots properly, but then it's like an artillery, and I really don't want to get distracted from the. From the uh, boom! <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Uh, I think this stun helped, so... Uh, also, I don't want to shotgun myself, but yeah, I, I was totally focused on the driving. Um, but... Yeah, I think you're screwed, mate. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, no, I'm playing it safe. See? See? Yeah. Um, oh, I'm loaded. And goodbye. And yeah, that should give you give you a very nice example why you always should fight till the last possible moment. Um, and I mean, I don't get the suiciders and artilleries. I even less get the suiciders uh, in uh, like real tanks. I mean, even Artie can do stuff like that. Why the fuck should you give up on anything else? And even if you're not winning, at least you'll have fun. Because there's nothing more funny than shotgunning lights and circling GTs in your party. <laughs> and uh, yeah, always keep in mind, I'll actually close with the Tech Clan motto. Keep calm and carry on.